spring has sprung and springtime is crappie time. Hi guys, Kim Stricker here and I've got some great underwater footage of crappie to share with you including some cool strike shots. In spring as the water temperature approaches the mid 50s, crappie can be observed transitioning shallow staging in groups adjacent to spawning areas. On sunny days, these schools will suspend near the water surface, absorbing the warmth of the sun's penetrating rays. This is a great time to search for these tasty panfish, and catching them is easy with a simple slip bobber technique and a Mr. Crappie Joker. Find a spot, put my poles down. When I find them here, they ought to be grouped up in a key little area. The school moves up in kind of stages before they come up and make their beds. There he is. Ooh, there he is. Come on up here, Mr. Crappie. Ooh, yeah. That ain't a bad one at all. I'm getting good net on that. Nice. There we go. There we go, Mr. Crappie. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Nice black crappie. Look at the colors and stuff on that. Beautiful fish. Pre-spawn, they, they stack up. For this presentation, I like to use a medium action spinning rod spooled with 20 pound Seaguar Smackdown braided line. This is their high vis green color. What's nice about Smackdown braid is it casts so smoothly. Then I tie on a liter of eight pound Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon line. Tatsu is supple and slips through the bobber well, but most of all, I use it because of its transparency properties. As you'll notice in my underwater footage, you can't see the line at all. In fact, all Seaguar fluorocarbon lines are virtually invisible underwater. To rig the slip bobber, first attach a bobber stop by simply sliding it up on the line. Next, slip on a bead. Then the slip bobber. This is a thill slip bobber, but frankly, the one I'm using is a little too big, but it's what I had. Lastly, I tie on a 1 ounce jig head and a Mr. Crappie Joker by using a loop knot. In fact, I've got another video available showing Mr. Crappie himself demonstrating how he ties the loop knot. A slip bobber rig has a couple key benefits. First, it not only allows you to adjust the depth, but allows you to fish as deep as you want to without having a bunch of line dangling below the bobber when you cast. Secondly, it makes casting much easier when the weight of the bobber is slipped down next to your jig. They like that joker. You twitch it, that it kind of tracks them, and the, when you rest it, they come up and swallow it. <laughs> This, this is a good one, I think. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is a nice one, real nice one. Oh yeah. Come over here, I got a net right here. Oh yes. Yeah, nothing wrong with that crappie. Yeah, look at that in the sun. In that pretty. Yeah. Springtime crappie. Nothing like it. As you can see, it's the subtle action the Joker displays that draws the crappie, ultimately triggering a strike. The balls on the tip of the limber tails help impart this enticing motion. With each twitch of the rod tip, the bobber wobbles and the joker dances. It's this repetitive, graceful ballet that allures the crappie into striking. 
Come on, crappie. Ooh, there's right there. He was out there a little further. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad. That ain't bad one. But yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. There it is. The Joker with those little legs. They really entice them. Alright. No doubt that when you catch one, you want to throw back in the same area because they're, they're all grouped up right now. Pre-spawn like that. They just school up tight. They get near the surface and sun themselves. Fun stuff. Go down, cork. Thank you. Love it when they do it when they tell them to. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Look, that one ain't bad, it looks like. I'm gonna swing it, I'm gonna swing it. That's not a bad one either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crappy, crappy. I'm just twitching it just a little bit and make that bobber wobble, and there it goes down, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Once you find them, I'm not going to get a net on that one. It's a little one. As Wally would say, a tater chip. But fun to catch. Fun to catch. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Starting to get fun. A couple of twitches and cork will go down. Twitch, 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 twitch. And there it goes. Oh. <laughs> there must be a fair share of small ones in this school. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> And don't be surprised when we catch a bass doing this too, because the bass I've seen will actually move with these schools. You'll see a bass or two. Take it, take it. There you go. Ooh, that's a better one, I think. I think that's a little nicer one. No, not really. Oh. oh. That little, that little bitty for here. Knocked him right in the top of the lip. Fun stuff. Twitch, twitch. Little joker. Little joker. Thank you. <laughs> Just like that. Ooh. Kind of a close to the last one. That seems to be our average size. Again, they're not giant, but they're not little dinky things either. Mr. Crappie Joker. If you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, please check out the links listed below.